Average and variance. Average. An average represents a single number obtained as the result of a calculation that serves as the midpoint value of a group of data with similar characteristics, i.e., that are measured by using the same units. The group of data can be the marks of children in the first grade, the heights of 10-year-old children, etc. For example, take the marks of 10 fourth grade pupils on an arithmetic test. To calculate the average, add up the marks and divide that sum by the number of students. The result, 77, is the average mark for the group. There's another way to calculate the average. Have another look at the grades. They can be used to divide the students into groups according to their grade, 70, 80, or 90. Two students got 90 points. They represent 20% of the class. Three students got 80 points. They represent 30% of the class. The rest of the class got 70 points. They represent 50% of the class. We multiply the weight of each group with its grade and get the same average of 77. Conclusion An average is a single number that represents a group of values. Had all the values in the group been the same, they would equal the average. An average is typically calculated by summing up all the values in the group and dividing by the number of objects, or by multiplying the weights of subgroups by their values. Variance Sometimes we need more than just the average to describe a group of values. The average height of these three kids equals the height of the middle kid, but if all three kids were the same height as the middle one, we would still get the same average. Variance helps us measure how far from each other the values in the group are. It's a measure of a group's dispersal. Given two groups with the same average, the one with the higher variance has the higher dispersal. To calculate variance, first measure the difference between each value and the average. Then raise each to the power of 2, add, and divide by the number of values. The variance in height for the group of children equals 2.1. The square root of the variance is called standard deviation. Standard deviation is more convenient to use than variance because it's measured in the same units as the values we're working on. The standard deviation of the children's height is approximately 1.45 inches. Conclusion there are many types of measurements that can help characterize groups of data, such as grades or children's heights. The average typifies the data and finds its center. The variance and standard deviation show how dispersed the data is around its average. These two measures are very useful when analyzing statistical data.